physics is really used on every single patient. Um, you know, as soon as you walk in the door and, and enter my office and, and, and you know, you're there for that first time for an evaluation, I'm watching how you move. I'm watching how, um, you know, if it's knee pain, how your gait uh, pattern is. Um, if it's shoulder pain, maybe how your posture is. Um, you know, all that positioning is going to tell me right off the bat how tissues are going to be loaded um, and can give me a, a basic starting point. Through the actual evaluation, we'll discuss, um, you know, pain patterns and that sort of things, and, and that'll further allow me to, to um, perfect my diagnosis and, and make sure it's as specific as it can be. Um, and, and with that, um, I haven't even really touched your body yet, so I haven't even assessed your tissue quality, um, and that would be tissue tightness, maybe strength of the muscles, general range of motion. And so the way that physics would come into that would be, say you, you enter and, and you know, you're a 45, 50 year old adult male with shoulder pain. D not sure how it started, you know, traumatic event, you know, you didn't fall off your bike, it just kind of started bothering you um, while uh, painting a, a bedroom. And so what I would do is, is assess how the kinet kinetics and kinematics of the shoulder are, are working. Um, that can be anything from timing of when a muscle fires to how the tissue quality, so how much um, elasticity there is in the joint tissues, um, and how they either limit or allow too much motion of the joint. Um, and based on that, then we would look at muscles and timing of their contractions, um, how well they're able to stabilize and control that joint, um, and that sort of thing. So you can really think of a shoulder um, as car suspension in a way, and so where your uh, uh, tire is going to wear if it's towed in too much, let's say, very similar to the shoulder. If the mechanics get um, tweaked in, in just a slight manner, it can cause significant pain.